abandonments that I've dealt with that have really moved me are, are, are where we've had, you know, pregnant animals that have been left in properties. These animals are really vulnerable, um, you know, and, and, and leaving them at the, at the time that they need you the most is heartbreaking. when puppies are abandoned or when elderly animals are abandoned. Unfortunately, it's been the old animals, the young animals, and also the pregnant animals that I remember the most. There'll be, uh, you know, a lot of people that will, uh, will return back to work. So um, again, they won't be at home. They won't have the time that they thought they had. Um, things will change rapidly. Um, there'll also sadly be people that will be, um, you know, uh, lost their jobs because of lockdown. So they'll not be able to afford the animals. So you've got like, you know, variation of some people going back to work and some people not being able to go back to work. Um, and it's about affordability of that animal and also time for that animal. Abandoning an animal can make them a lot more timid, a lot more fearful of people. Um, so, you know, please just remember that, you know, not only is it morally and, um, and, and legally not acceptable to do that, you also will change the behaviour and possibly the life of that animal long term and make it much harder for rescue centres to rehome that animal. So we would much rather you, you know, give up your animals and hand them over than leave them behind. I would always say, you know, please, please don't abandon your animal. There really isn't any need to do that. You know, you can contact your, you know, local um, RSPCA, you know, speak to your vets if you need any help or advice. But there really is not any need or any reason that anybody should feel it necessary to abandon their animals. Um, you know, if somebody is getting that stretched, we will always try and help them with some food to tie them over or we will simply, you know, take them in as soon as we possibly can. But, the, you know, just please don't do it, don't abandon your animals. And if you feel that desperate that you, that you need to, um, give us a call and, and we can talk it through. <laughs>